I want to do this quick video. I picked up an LCP2. My buddy at work's got the LCP, uh, just the one, I guess they'd call it the one version. And I uh, picked this up and I got it on Gun Broker for $218 and it was $25 shipping. And I got it within a week, which is pretty cool. Uh, it came with uh, this setup here. This is a safety check. Let me do it for you. I've already done it. Okay. I picked up the, uh, the six rounder and it's I don't like it. it's it's real small okay knowing this before I bought it I went ahead and got these pre-ordered too from uh, eBay <coughs> excuse me these are about 30 bucks a piece I ended up getting a three of total of three um, I did get two originally but when I felt the six rounder I didn't like it so I picked up a third um, these all have uh, hollow points in them when I'm done and got this gun all worked in and I feel comfortable with it and everything then it'll be a pocket carry basically uh, right now, I'm just working them in. Uh, you do want to break them in. You do get a disclaimer saying to preload the mags and let them sit for three, four days, which I do anyway. Um, so that's just a, that you do get a disclaimer saying that. And it's kind of cool because I've always done that anyway. And it's kind of, you know, justified that uh, people that say that's not the thing to do. It is the thing to do. I actually leave the slide open as well and stretch that spring just to get no matter what I get. If it's a Glock or whatever, which I don't get Glocks anymore, but... Uh, Anyhow, um, here we are. So the comparisons are that I've noticed, which are pretty obvious when you got the two guns uh, back to back, um, is the slide and the butt is more like that on the LCP-1, okay? And the rear sight goes straight up from that kick and they're slick and they're about half the size as this LCP-2. Okay, so the, the slide and butt is different. It's more like that. And the sights are different. These are serrated. They have a horizontal serration on them. And what I did is I took about half of the sight, front and rear, and I put just a little white paint, a little basically fingernail polish. I put a coat, let it sit real good, and I put another coat, and that was it. And um, worked really good. It, it's going to stay because even if this paint wears off from the exterior, from, from the high part of this serration, the white will still be in the lower part where you can't get to with your hand. Kind of like color fill, if you're picking up what I'm saying here. Um, so that's different. You know, like I say, it's like that. This is more of a square back. These sights are risen and not so much molded into it, even though they are molded. It's more of like a real sight that you'd have on a gun, on a normal uh, semi. But, uh, boy, this, this makes all the difference in the world having these. So serrations uh, on the front. And they are, they got this little crook to them where you, you're going to get a better bite. Okay. The other ones are just on the rear and very mild. These got are sharper, better. The, the um, slide seems just a little higher, like maybe an eighth of an inch. I doubt if the barrel's any higher, but the slide seems a little higher. The front of the gun, like I said, it's like an LC9. Uh, the LCP and the LC9 are like very similar looking. Uh, I got the, the LC9S. And was comparing those two with the guys at work, and, and it was like that. This is totally different. This is more square, more square here. Um, not bulkier, just just more square. Okay, trigger guard is round on the LCP. Uh, this is square. The uh, trigger on this is awesome. It's very nice. It's got the uh, the little safety within the trigger there. You've got to be fully on the trigger um, for it to, for it to work. So. So that's a, that's a plus, kind of like the XDM or Glock or whatever. Um, because of a light trigger, that is a big plus. So you don't hang it up on something and, and blow your balls off or whatever. But um, there you go. You know, it, it, and it has serrations throughout, like a, a stippling all here. This is talon. And I did leave the front off of the talon. I cut it flush like the other side. So there's no wrap there because that's usually where it's going to peel, if it peels at all. But I like that stippling. It's nice. I just got the talon just to make it a little fatter, actually. I didn't want to go with the Hogue or whatever because that's real bulky. Um, I've got some messed up hands broken through the years a couple times. So um, I don't want anything too bulky. I want it, want it tight, nice and tight. But uh, there we go. You know, so you got your sights basically, your trigger guard, your trigger's different. Slide stop is larger. Different design back here and different design on the nose. Okay, so that, that's basically it. This is made in Prescott, Arizona. Kind of like the, uh, what, 2245s. And um, the the LCP one is made in uh, somewhere in I want to say North Carolina, 
And uh, that's interesting to me. But if you know Ruger's, they've got like five plants all over the states. And they, they have different, I guess they're so large that they have different, you know, different areas where they make them. Um, the stamp on it is a little different. This is more of a laser cut thing. I don't know if it's going to wear off or what, which I don't care if it does. But the LCP original is actually large letters. And it's stamped in to where you color fill nuts can color fill shit out of it. So anyway, that that's a quick breakdown of the differences. I think I covered everything. Um, I'm liking this thing. I got the, uh, these mags are really nice. Definitely recommended. I mean, that gives you a full grip. And I've got a pretty large hand. And that does. That gives me, that gives me a full grip. Very nice. Very nice. I'm going to walk off to the range here in a minute and, and give you a range review on that. Uh, shooting some steel at about, I mentioned about 8 yards, but it's actually about 10 yards. Not not trying to, you know, have a pissing contest on it, but it is about 10 yards. I, I mentioned 7 or 8, but uh, I marked it off after I was done with the video. Got this Walther upholster. Pretty decent. Got it on eBay. It was under 30 bucks. Uh, took a hairdryer to it. Got it real hot. Slid my gun in it. Being it's winter here, it's cold as shit. Pretty nice. I mean, it's comfortable. I put it on. Uh, this will basically go against my boxers or whatever, so it's so it's comfortable. It's slick. It uh, doesn't seem like it's going to be a heat box. I am in a very humid area uh, come summer, so that can be a nightmare. Uh, my buddy, this did sit uh, fit in the LCP, but they do have these for the LCP original. This is an LCP2 mag. It has the, the same stippling, okay? It fit, but I didn't fire the gun, so I don't know if it, if it would have worked in his gun. I probably would, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, but if it does work and you know it works, I would get this one because it has stippling on it. It's got a little more of the uh, grip. See how that goes straight down? It's, it's total stippling. Or you could stipple it. But uh, they're cheap enough to where you can do whatever. You could hit it with spray can paint if you want, and big deal, right? But um, nice little gun. Uh I'm off to the range. I'm going to do a range view. Here's my uh, HKP30 40 cal. Just to give you an idea of the uh, mini me factor. This is loaded and everything. So don't freak out. But it is. And I'm going to keep my finger off that trigger. And it does have a safety. And the safety's on. But that's my home defense there. And a major difference. This thing is literally a feather. Okay. And this is a tank 40 cal. And I love it. Accurate as shit. But we're gonna put this back away. And Got my LCP2 out here. I did a little uh, side upgrade. Just put a little bit of a um, little bit of paint on there. But I'm gonna hit shoot some steel down here, probably about eight yards, seven eight yards, and I uh, see how she does. Got a few mags on my hip as well. Got uh, three extended mags for seven rounders. And uh, I have uh, got many pockets here. Load them back up real quick here. Yeah, I'm liking this thing. It's pretty accurate. If I'm holding it, it's hitting. Being it's so small, I'm yanking it around a little bit, but I am new to this. Uh, got my LC9S, kind of got used to that, and this is a little bit smaller than that. So uh, LC9S, LC9S is nice and uh, accurate, it really is. Uh, this 
a little small for my hands, but I, but I like it. Great pocket carry, for sure. Secondary, 